So, home-based experiment, measurements and uncertainties. Before you perform the experiment, you refer to home-based experiment guide page 25 to 27. Okay, by referring to the table 3.1 given as an example, construct six tables to record your data for task 1, 2 and 3. Task 1, we are going to have two tables for task 1 to measure the length of two books. Another two table for task 2, diameter of two oval shapes object. And another two tables for task 3, the width of two thumbbell handle. Now let's go to perform the experiment. Task 1, we are going to measure the length of two books using 30cm ruler. So, measure the length of the book across the width of the book to obtain 5 readings. Remember to take a picture of the measurements so that you can attach in your lab report. Repeat the same procedure for another book. Again, do remember to take the picture of the measurements. Then we're done with task 1. We move on to task 2. Measure the diameter of two oval shaped objects. So for task 2, in order to measure the diameter of the two oval shapes, we are going to use the micrometer screw gauge from a website. So for the best experience, you might use computer or laptop. Anyhow, you can also use your handphone to perform the task. Scan the QR code or you might use the URL link given to go to the website. Okay, we go to the website micrometer screw gauge. Then we tap on the button go. So tap at the bottom right corner to zoom out the micrometer screw gauge. So we got the uncertainties for the micrometer screw gauge. Choose any two over to measure the diameter. So make sure we do repeated reading to obtain five reading for each over. So I choose this one as my over one. Put in. Okay. Take the reading. Main skill, Bernier skill. And then you will get your first reading. Tick out to repeated reading. Second time. So this will be the second reading. Tick out. We, we put the object. This is our third reading. Tick out. We put the object. Fourth reading. Tick out the object. Put it back. This one will be our fifth reading. So we got all the readings in the observation table. So I repeat the same procedure for another over. I choose this one. So put it in. We got the first reading. Put it in again. We got the second reading. Take out. Put it in. The third reading, take it out, put it in, back, and fourth reading, take it out, put it back, and then you have the fifth reading. So we got all the readings in your observation table. Then take a picture of the measurements and attach in your lab report. We're done with task one, two, sorry. And then we move on to task 3, measure the width of two thumbnail handles. This one we are going to use vernier caliper from a website. 
So in order to measure that one, we are going to move on to the second URL given or scan the second QR code. It will bring us to the Bunya Caliper applications. So tap go. Again, at the right corner, zoom out, enlarge the Bunya Caliper. So it gives us five different size of dumbbell you can choose any two of the dumbbell and measure it width of the handle so again we are going to do repeated reading for each of the dumbbell so we're checking first the smallest divisions of the vernier caliper so the smallest division will be 1 over 10 0 0.1 millimeter so i choose this one as my first dumbbell so I read the main scale, I read the Vernian scale. Now I'll get my first reading. Take out and I'll do the repeated reading to obtain five reading. Put it back to the Vernian caliper. So I have my second reading. Then I'll repeat until I obtain five reading. So this will be my third reading. Fourth reading, fifth reading. Record all the reading in the observation table. Then I choose the second dumbbell, put it in, do the same measurements, and obtain five reading. Record the reading in the observation table. Second reading, third reading, fourth reading reading so remember to take the picture of the measurements in order to attach in your lab report so we're done with task 3 so boys and girls after you have obtained all the reading for your task 1 2 and 3 what you need to do is you have to complete all the observation table by calculate the average average value for your repeated reading and also the uncertainty for the repeated reading okay so make sure you record the uncertainties of your measurements read the unit what is the unit do not forget and also the unit here make sure you put in for example for example you measure the length of the book using meter rules so the uncertainties for meter rules is 0 0.1 the unit is centimeter okay so you have to put in complete your observation tables the columns header okay so let's say this is the repeated reading you obtain so you have to calculate the average value using the equation given so after you get the average value you are going to calculate the uncertainties for the repeated reading complete the column 2 to calculate the uncertainties of the repeated reading and then rewrite your result the length of the book is the average value plus minus the uncertainties for the repeated reading Then determine the percentage of uncertainties for the result you obtain. So the re percentage of uncertainties will be the uncertainties for the repeated reading divided by the average value multiplied 100%. Okay, so repeat the same thing to complete the another five tables. Okay, so then under discussion in your lab report, you will list out the precautions in the experiment and also identify the errors that might occur and give suggestions to overcome okay so, and then the last one in your lab report is the conclusions so in conclusions list out all the results you obtain and attach the best picture with the object and its reading for each task for example task one this is the picture and the reading for task one uh, this is the snapshot of the 
object and also the apparatus you use with the reading for task 2 and also this is for task 3. So lastly boys and girls, complete your lab report and then put it in PDF format and submit through the Google Classroom. Thank you. So if you have any problem or issues during you perform the experiment, do contact teachers and we will try to solve it together.